which are the acts which are allowed during itikaf? The acts which are permitted during itikaf, that if a need arises, a person can go out to the mosque, as mentioned earlier, to relieve himself or to wash or to guzzle or to do wudu or if there's no food, etc. As the hadith of Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, she says in Sayyid al Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Atikaf, hadith number 2029, that the Prophet, while doing Atikaf, never entered the house unless there was a need. The things which are otherwise permitted during Atikaf is a person can eat and drink and sleep in the mosque. He can eat and drink and sleep in the mosque, but he should be careful that he should maintain the sanctity and maintain the cleanliness of the mosque because it's a place of worship. A person can even comb the hair, he can oil his hair, he can remove the unwanted hair from the body, he can cut his nails, he can do wudu, he can wash, he can have a bath, he can wear new clothes, he can put perfume. These things are permitted. As it's mentioned in the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Atikaf, hadith number 2028, that Hadith Aisha, may Allah be with her, she says that while doing Atikaf, the Prophet from the mosque, he put the head into the house, and though she was during a menstrual cycle, she combed the hair of the Prophet and put oil in the head. It's also mentioned in the next hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Atikaf, hadith number 2029, Hadith Aisha, may Allah be with her, she says that while doing etikaf when the Prophet is in the mosque, he used to put his head into the house and she used to comb the hair and oil the hair and the Prophet never used to enter the house unless there was a need. So yeah, it means that you can comb the hair, you can oil the hair and the other things which I mentioned. Further, it's also allowed to pitch a tent in the mosque or in the backyard of the mosque. It's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of etikaf, Hadith number 2034, Hadith Aisha, she says that the Prophet used to do etikaf for the last 10 days of Ramadan. And she used to pitch a tent for him. And after offering Fajr Salah, he used to come at the place of etikaf and enter the tent. It's mentioned in Sayyid Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 2641. The Prophet did etikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And after offering Fajr Salah, he came at the place of Etikaf and ordered a tent to be pitched. And a tent was pitched where you're doing Etikaf. Further, it's also allowed for your wife to come and talk to you and speak to you while doing Etikaf. She can enter the mosque. And it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three in the book of Etikaf, hadith number 2035, that Safiya, Milla Vipidita, was the wife of the Prophet. While the Prophet was doing etikaf, she entered the mosque and she came and she spoke to him. And after a while, when she was leaving, the Prophet accompanied her to the gate of the mosque, the gate of Umm Salma. And two Ansar men, they entered the mosque and they wished the Prophet salams. And then the Prophet said, that don't run away, she is my wife. Safiya binte hoyai. So the two Ansar said, Subhanallah, O Rasulullah. That means, how could we think such a thing? And they felt a bit hurt. That how could the Prophet think that we are doubting the Prophet? So then the Prophet replies, and he says, that the Satan runs in the body and can reach any part of the body like the blood can reach any part of the body. And I was afraid lest some evil thought may come into your mind. That is the reason. I clarified the sheet my wife. So that gives us a guidance that when we are in public and someone doubts, we have to clarify. And even the Prophet did that, Alhamdulillah. So we come to know that the wives of the person doing etikaf can enter the mosque. And further it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of etikaf, hadith number 2037, that Hadith Aisha, she says that one of the wives of the Prophet did etikaf with the Prophet. And further it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Aitikaf, hadith number 2026, 
the Prophet used to do etikaf in the mosque for the last 10 days of Ramadan. And after he expired, his wives continued with the practice. So during etikaf, you're also allowed to speak to the wife and spend time with her. Zakala here for your answer.